Cahuzi Biega National Park is home to the world's largest gorilla species. But civil war off the borders of Eastern Congo and Rwanda has decimated the population. Animal rights activists report that less than a hundred of these great apes remain in the region. A local environmental initiative has taken up the fight to stop poaching and to protect the lowland gorillas still there. People can also benefit from the conservation measures in the long term, so they too are keen to protect this rare species. The town of Bukavu enjoys an idyllic location on Lake Kivu, one of Africa's great lakes. The cathedral is an Art Deco masterpiece, and close by is Kahuzi Biga National Park with its tourist magnet, Gorillas. But the visitors aren't coming. For the last 20 years, a bloody conflict has been fought in East Congo over mineral resources. Bitter poverty blights the villages on the edge of the park. Tourism could create new jobs, but right now, one of the few sources of income is a mushroom farm set up by an environmental group. These mushrooms help to protect the national park because the women don't need to go out there to scavenge. It's not mass tourism which is damaging the environment, but the locals themselves. The Popol Foundation aims to teach residents about the value of conservation. The environmentalists are taking the mushroom growers gorilla watching. On the way to the national park, we meet some local farmers. Many of them use the national park land, although this is illegal. They graze their cattle, poach game, scavenge and chop down trees. This former forest ranger understands the farmers often have no alternative. The community around here, they are too poor, very poor. And although this, the poverty level, uh, they were always arrested in the park and being jailed and they were forced to pay fines. The ranger explains the ground rules for visiting the gorillas. Always keep your distance as human germs can prove fatal if transmitted to the animals. It's the first time the growers have seen the great apes. Most are more excited than afraid. And then they're off into the heart of the rainforest. There's a lot of money to be made from gorilla watching in Rwanda and Uganda. Trackers follow the gorillas' daily movements. It often takes hours to find them, but today we're in luck. A short walk takes us to a family of 19 gorillas led by the silverback Chimanuka. It's quite safe in this part of the park, but in other areas, rebel groups operate, and they can be more dangerous than the gorillas. At first I was afraid they'd bite, but now I'm happy to have seen them. I didn't realize the park was so important. The former ranger's strategy of holding back seems to be working. In the future, I will help to protect the park. I'll make sure no one comes scavenging so the gorillas can stay safe. Whether the growers are able to keep their promises will depend on how the regional economy develops. Everyone's hoping plenty of tourists will come to see the gorillas. That should help to bring change for the better. You can see how we're protecting this World Heritage Site. You're here in the park and that's no problem. We'd like more tourists to come here. So there's a future for us rangers and our families. The gorillas seem relaxed and low-level tourism can help this threatened species. Hordes of tourists are in any case unlikely until there's peace in eastern Congo.